Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is the division of R&K Distributing, and I want to welcome you to this week's Project of the Week. I've been doing a lot of work in my Total Quilter, as well as, of course, Floriani Total Control U. But you know, I realize that probably a lot of you are unclear on what's the best way to get fabric into my program because it's the fabric I'm using. So what I've done is I've gone to maywoodstudio.com and I'm going to type in here Welcome Home Collection 1 and we're going to search for that. Well here we are right here you can start seeing Here's our Welcome Home collection. This is part of it. You can see if scroll down and see if they put them down here. Now I'm going to go ahead and as if you'll notice right here, these are some of my let me see, I'm going backwards. I'm used to a Mac, so sometimes I go a little backwards. I want to make this window just a little smaller. Now this is one of the fabrics I'm using, so I'm just going to drag it and drop it on my desktop. Here's another one that I'm using in this Welcome Home collection. Let's see what other ones I'm using out of here. Well, it's I want more results because that's not all of the ones I'm looking at. So let's go for more results. Okay, perfect. Oh, the red polka dot is one of them. So I'm going to pull it out. And I also want, there's a blue floral that I want. Let's see, I think I already picked those two out. I want this green. Oops. And I think there is, there's a blue floral. Here it is, right here. Okay, so I've pulled out the fabrics that I like. Now I'm going to show you what, the, what they've done. On my desktop, you can see those fabrics that I have pulled out. So let's go ahead and make our software good sized and let me show you how to add this fabric. Now first I've got to have something to add it to so I in my properties I've got the options to add fabric. So let's just go over here and let's go ahead and pick this double star. So there's a double star block. Let's fit this to screen and now let's look at what I can do with this fabric. Let me see. I'm going to get my object selection. I'm going to select this center piece, this center star, and notice it has the fabric icon come up. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this and I'm going to say I need to add a fabric. And I'm going to go to that desktop and I'm going to go down and I'm going to look at I believe that fabric is a JPEG image, it's not a bitmap. And I'm going to come ahead and I'm going to look for that fabric on my desktop. Let me see, here we go. Here's my fabrics on my desktop. So you, as you can see, there's my red polka dot. There is my green dots. Here's another one, here's another one. So let's just go ahead and I'm going to tell it to go ahead, open this, and I've added. Let's go ahead and add. Let's just go down and add, open, and add. And let's go here, open, add, and I'm looking for my rows. Let's see, where's our rows? One, I wanted that rose one. I was sure I'd added it. Maybe I didn't. Well, it's okay. We're just going to stay with what we've got. So anyway, now I'm going to cancel this. Now let's go down and let's look. If we start looking, notice there's fabrics that I've added. You can see them. There's our red polka dot. I did add that. So as you notice, I've got the fabrics I added in here. So now they're in here and I can say, okay, I want this center one and I want it to be the green. And apparently I did that twice. And now 
No, you know what? I'm going to select that again. I'm going to go to the fabrics. I want the roses. Very good. Now I'm going to come in here and I could hold down my control key and I could select all four of these. Let's go to fabric and let's add the green to that. Let's add our green swirl. Okay. And now let's go ahead and come in here holding my control key. I'm going to select all these outside pieces. Now this is artwork that we're working with because of course we brought in an Appliquilt block. So this is all artwork that we get to uh, customize to what we want. So now let's add and let's add our red polka dot. Let's see where is that? There we go. So now I can see the block prior to changing my stitches doing anything I want. I have added all my fabrics. Now almost any fabric you purchase, find out on the end of the bolt, and a lot of times it's on the selvage edge of the fabric, but a lot of times just write down from the end of the bolt what the name of the collection is and what um, fabric company it comes from. They all have these swatches. So when you have these swatches, then you can go ahead and come in and you can add them to your quilts and stuff to see if that's what you like. Then when you come in and you say, oh, this is perfect, this is exactly what I want, then we can come in and I'm just going to right mouse click. No, I'm not going to do that one. Right now, first, I've got my block. And so we've got our stitches. Everything's done on this block. So we are happy with our block. Now, I want to look at this. Maybe I'd like to change the stitches. I could come in here, change stitches, do whatever I want. You can come in here and you've got all these stitches to look at. So we could just pick a different stitch, apply that. So now I can come in and completely customize this block to how I want it to look for me. So once you've got your block all happy and done and you're perfectly comfortable with this block, of course you know now the way cool thing that you get to do is you select your block and now I can export my block and I can generate all my block files because of course we are in the total quilter. So now I brought in an Apple stitch block, I mean an Apple quilt block, I'm sorry, an Apple quilt block. It came in, it had everything I needed in there to, to customize. I've customized it with fabric, I've customized it with stitches, all the good stuff. Now I've got the option that I can go ahead and I can export that block and I can name it to whatever I want and I'm going to call it uh, project of the week. I can set my seam allowance. Now depending on if you're going to use batting and you're going to quilt as you go method, you decide the size of the sashing you want between your blocks and that is you're going to put half the seam allowance. So let's say I want a one inch sashing between my blocks. I'm going to have to have half an inch on one block and half an inch on the other block. So when they butt up together, I've got that one inch sashing that already has the batting in it. So we have, on this one, I'm going to do the one inch sashing and I'm going to export this block. So I have completely finished this block. It's given me the cutting files. It's given me all the files I need to stitch this out and use my digital cutter. Now I'm actually not doing a lesson on how to use Total Quilter as much as I'm trying, I want to do a lesson on the joys of bringing in your own fabrics and it is so simple. And I wanted to show you where to get them. You always want to go to the website to get them because they have digitally, they photographed them and digitally done them so that everything on it is to scale. When you take a picture of your own fabric, which you absolutely can do, then you need to scale it. So what you need to do is take a picture and you need to 
scale it because when you bring in a JPEG it's going to come in a lot bigger if you've taken a photograph. So you're going to need to take a section of that and say right mouse click and say it's one inch from here to here and we've always been able to do that in FTCU to be able to define our horizon and define our scale. Now that's in Floriani Total Control. But I just wanted this week my big deal was getting you to bring in your fabrics and play with them. Just go get some fabrics and play with them. And you know what's even nicer about this? Sometimes you go to the fabric store, you're looking, you're looking, you're thinking, ooh, I like this, I like that. Write down what they are. Come build your block before you buy your fabric. You might find that you don't like what you would have picked and purchased and come home and cut up. So come in here, play with it, work with it, and that way you can go ahead and you can play with this, do everything you want to get this to be your block. Um, I think my block is locked here. There, I got to unblock, unlock my block. My block was locked. There we go. Okay, so just a, that quick lesson on bringing that in. Now let's go. Let me, oh, excuse me. I have to see my, let's open FTCU. And I basically want to do the same thing. I want to add some fabrics. To adding fabrics to FTCU, you're adding them for applique. You have to realize uh, the way FTCU works is it's assuming you've got a design. The only time you have fabric is when you have an applique. So let's go ahead and bring in a piece of artwork. And I'm going to go to my favorite custom shapes. Y'all are so used to. So now I have artwork. I'm going to go ahead and turn this into an applique. I'm going to come to the bottom, left mouse click on my one click wonder, and now I have an applique. And notice there's fabric. So again, how are we going to do it? We're going to add. And we can go back and we can do the same thing. We can pick, now these are JPEG images. Remember, you might need to change this to JPEG. Because all those internet images, almost all of them are JPEGs. Now when I come in here and I look, I can go ahead and look up those images. So again, we could pull in, well, what happened to my, my images here? Mm -hmm. Don't you know, don't you hate it when that happens? Well, oh, desktop, that's why it's missing. You got to go to the right place. There we go. There's our images. So we can click on an image. I'm going to go ahead and open this and bring this in. Okay. Now what I want to do is now that this is in, I'm going to go to add to my bird. I'm going to come down and I'm going to find that. There it is. And I'm going to say okay. And now I can audition the fabric also in my applique in Floriani Total Control U. So I just wanted to go to the internet, just drag and drop the pieces off to your desktop, then go ahead and add them in to your fabrics. If you wanted to take a picture of a fabric, remember in, um, in Total Control, I have the ability to right mouse click on an image here. Let me get, um, let's go ahead here real quick and bring in some kind of, um, well I'll bring in just one and let's see here. Not you, I want some fabric. There we go. Okay, let's say I took a picture of fabric. Now we know this one's correct because when it came in I had pulled that off the internet. But what happens a lot of times, and we are in millimeters, let's just go to inches to give you a Okay, so this actually here is just a background image. Now if I right mouse click, this says define scale. That's what I was talking about. So if you've taken a picture and your picture is, you know, 17 inches by 13 inches and you can see this is just a 3 by 3, 3.33 inches. What you're going to do is I personally would mark on that fabric. I would take a fabric marker so I wouldn't ruin the fabric and I would do like a three inch swatch. Now when I take that picture then I can right mouse click 
at the edge of that line drag across until I get to the other line that I drew which is the three inch and then when it comes up I can tell it this is supposed to be 3.33 inches okay and that way you know your fabric swatch is exactly the right size um, to put into your software because it won't be distorted now once I've got this I would just save it to my desktop and go ahead and add it to my fabric because now I know it's everything on that piece of fabric is proportional I hope you enjoyed today's lesson I hope it helps you a lot in adding fabrics into your total control you and your total quilter look forward to seeing you next week